The moment the world realized Tesla had crossed a point of no return was not during a flashy stage event or a polished keynote. It happened deep inside Giga Texas, in a cavernous industrial hall so bright it looked like daylight was being forced in through the concrete. Engineers stood in silence. A few of them actually took a step back when the machine exhaled. They were looking at the first production-ready titan of its kind, a die-casting leviathan with a clamping force greater than anything the auto industry had ever dared to assemble. They called it the 55,000-ton press, but to the people witnessing it, it felt less like machinery and more like the moment the old rules of car building simply collapsed. Torque Element had been tracking rumors about this machine for months. Most assumed it was an exaggeration, the kind of leaked whisper that swirls before a big product cycle. But what Tesla built was not an upgrade. It was not a refinement. It was a total reinvention of how a vehicle's skeleton could be created, a single colossal strike forming an entire underbody in one seamless piece. Traditional manufacturers had always assumed casting this large would be impossible, unstable, too risky. Tesla did it anyway. When the press activated, every surface in that hall trembled. The sound rumbled across the floor like a low rolling earthquake. Molten aluminum, glowing white gold at temperatures hotter than the surface of a wildfire flare, surged into the immense steel mold. At this scale, metal does not flow. It behaves like a living force, pressurized with such intensity that if the timing, heat, or vacuum were even slightly off, the entire cast would self-destruct before solidifying. Older presses had tried to push boundaries. 6,000-ton machines could consolidate dozens of parts into one, and 9,000-ton variants managed rear underbodies with admirable consistency. But this new press applied nine times the closing force of those earliest giants, gripping the die with over 100 million pounds of pressure. At that magnitude, aluminum does not cool naturally. It is controlled, disciplined, forced along precise internal pathways created by Tesla's material scientists. Under these conditions, the metal stays liquid nearly one-fifth longer than under any prior method, allowing it to slide into every microscopic corner of the mold before the first crystal forms. For a 50-plus viewer who remembers how cars were built decades ago, this shift feels surreal. Cars once required welders, stampers, riveters, endless inspection lines making sure hundreds of small parts aligned without error. Anyone who owned a vehicle past its warranty remembers the inevitable creaks, the slow weakening around joints, the rust appearing where steel panels met. Welds age, bolts loosen, stress builds, time wins. But what happens when a vehicle's entire core structure is born in one single unbroken moment? What happens when the weakest link simply does not exist? That question is exactly why this machine matters. The molten aluminum surged into the vacuumed cavity. Tesla had redesigned the venting architecture from scratch, using dual-zone suction that pulled trapped gases outward with a gradient of force, a technique originally refined for jet turbine blades. Air bubbles, once notorious for weakening large casts, were now swept away until the void content fell to almost nothing. By the time the aluminum began to solidify, the entire underbody had uniform density from edge to edge. No welds. No seams. No opportunity for long-term fatigue to sneak in. When the die opened, the team witnessed a sight that older automakers still argue is impossible. A front-to-rear frame nearly the length of a midsize sedan emerged as a single flawless piece, cooled by intricately printed channels woven through the tooling itself. These channels, produced by the kind of additive manufacturing that traditional dyes could never incorporate, drew heat out so efficiently that the mold lasted nearly three times longer than industry standards. What once failed at 50,000 cycles, now, endured 150,000 with stability to spare. And the machine did not need hours to reset. Servo-driven hydraulics, tuned with aerospace precision, reset the system in barely over a minute. Where conventional body lines build a few hundred thousand units per year, this monster could push far past one million if connected to a full assembly workflow. 
It was obvious now why Tesla kept insisting the Model 2 would be built so fast competitors could not keep up. The evidence was right in front of everyone watching. But the true shock was not the speed. It was the clarity this brought about Tesla's intentions. The older automakers had assumed Tesla's casting ambitions were impressive but limited. They pictured a future with slightly fewer welds, simpler supply chains, more efficient factories. They never imagined Tesla would scale the concept until an entire chassis could emerge from a single engineered heartbeat of aluminum and pressure. The moment this press came online, the conversation about cost transformed. Traditional stamping operations require dozens of suppliers producing hundreds of steel components, each one shipped across states or oceans to reach a final assembly plant. Every bolt, every bracket, Every subframe adds a little delay, a little waste, a little cost. Add it all together, and it becomes the reason affordable EVs have remained so hard to build. Tesla cut that chain nearly to the bone. Fewer suppliers, fewer failure points, less freight, less storage. Entire buildings worth of weld inspection stations suddenly irrelevant. Machines that used to be the size of a house now replaced by a process with a footprint smaller than the cafeteria of a legacy plant. For older drivers who remember Detroit's glory days, this shift feels like witnessing the birth of a new industrial age. The assembly line that defined the 20th century has finally met its successor. As torque element continued gathering insights, a pattern emerged that made the story even more compelling. The press did not simply save money. It created durability advantages that matter enormously to the 50-plus audience Tesla has increasingly catered to. Older drivers care less about 0 to 60 numbers and more about a vehicle that will not fall apart when the miles start adding up. The uniform aluminum castings created by this mega press endure stress cycles far beyond what welded frames can handle. Where stamped steel begins to crack after years of potholes and long-distance travel, the gigacast underbody absorbs stress with the consistency of a single engineered organism. Imagine owning a car for over a decade and having the frame feel just as solid as the day you bought it. No rattling in the floorboard. No seam fatigue. No creeping rust spreading along welded joints. For retirees stretching every dollar, for families on fixed budgets, for drivers who do not want to fight expensive repairs. That kind of structural reliability is life-changing. And Tesla knows it. That is why the Model 2, the company's first truly global mass-market car, is built around this technology, not beside it, not enhanced by it, born from it. When you picture the Model 2 being assembled, do not imagine the familiar chaotic ballet of steel stamping lines. Imagine instead a quiet, clinical sequence, molten metal forming a chassis in one shot, robots transferring the cooled frame along a seamless assembly line, battery modules sliding into place, interior components attaching with the precision of a spacecraft. The car is no longer an assembly of parts. It is a cast core wrapped in technology. What makes this story even more fascinating is that the Megapress does not merely impact the Model 2. It shifts the entire competitive landscape. Legacy automakers built their empires on steel stamping, welding, and layered complexity. Switching to gigacasting requires billions in factory overhauls, years of retraining, and massive risks that shareholders rarely tolerate. Even if they decide today to replicate Tesla's method, Many will not have a production-ready line until the latter half of the decade. Tesla is already there. Torque Element has spoken with analysts who believe this gap could last three to five years. In automotive terms, that is a lifetime. That is the difference between leading a market and losing it forever. But what truly anchors this shift, what hooks the minds of viewers over 50, is the deep sense of deja vu. People remember when Japanese automakers disrupted Detroit with reliability instead of raw power. They remember when Korean brands rose from underdogs to industry leaders. Every major shift felt impossible until it arrived. 
Now Tesla has created another moment like that, except this time the shift is not about a brand. It is about the very physics of manufacturing. Consider what this means for the future of EV ownership. Fewer repairs, stronger frames, lower insurance costs, faster production, affordable pricing, vehicles that remain sturdy long after the monthly payments end. For older drivers thinking about their next and perhaps final vehicle purchase, this matters more than ever. As the molten aluminum cooled into structural metal, the engineers gazing at that first chassis were not looking at a part. They were looking at the death of the old way of building cars. They were witnessing what happens when a company obsessed with optimization finally removes the design limitations of the past century. The casting lay on the transfer platform like a single piece of sculpture, smooth, unified, seamless. A foundation built to last. Tesla had changed the game, again. Legacy automakers will scramble. Some will try to copy this technology. Others will cling to their stamping plants and hope the world slows down. But progress is not slowing. It is accelerating, one cast at a time. And for the audience watching Torque Element, especially those who have lived through every automotive revolution since the era of carburetors and chrome bumpers, the message is simple. The next vehicle you buy may be the last one you ever need to worry about. Because when a car is born in a single moment of perfect engineering, it carries that strength for life. If this deep dive opened your eyes to just how far Tesla has pushed the boundaries of manufacturing, make sure you like the video, leave a comment sharing what shocked you most, and subscribe to Torque Element so we can continue bringing these investigative breakdowns straight to you. We are on the journey toward reaching our next subscriber milestone, and every single viewer helps us unlock new reporting from inside the EV industry. The age of giga casting has begun. And once you understand it, you cannot unsee the truth. Cars will never be built the same way again.